It's Penelope's Playtime. In the quaint town of Willow's End, nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there existed a peculiar toy shop known as Marionette's Keep. Its shelves were adorned with an array of intricately crafted toys, each bearing the mark of the shop's reclusive owner, Mr. Hargrove. Among these creations, one doll stood out, a porcelain figure named Penelope with lifelike blue eyes and hair spun from golden thread. She was a masterpiece, the crown jewel of Mr. Hargrove's collection. Lily, a young girl with an affinity for the whimsical, was drawn to Penelope from the moment she spotted her in the shop's dusty window. Despite her parents' reluctance, they acquiesced to Lily's pleas, purchasing the doll as a gift for her 10th birthday. Penelope quickly became Lily's constant companion, the two inseparable. But as days passed, Lily's parents noticed a change in their daughter. Once vibrant and full of laughter, she became withdrawn, her nights plagued by nightmares, her days shadowed by an unshakable sense of dread. Whispers began to fill the house, soft, insidious murmurs that seemed to emanate from Penelope herself. Lily's parents dismissed these as products of an overactive imagination, but the truth was far more sinister. One evening, as a storm raged outside, casting flickering shadows across Lily's room, she witnessed Penelope's porcelain face twist into a grotesque grin. The doll's eyes, once lifeless, glowed with a malevolent light. Paralyzed with fear, Lily watched as Penelope slowly turned her head to face her, whispering promises of eternal companionship in a voice that chilled the air. Frightened beyond belief, Lily tried to rid herself of Penelope, but the doll always returned, appearing in places no one had left her, her presence an omnipresent threat. Lily's pleas for help were met with skepticism, her parents unable to see the malevolence that lurked beneath Penelope's painted facade. Determined to uncover the truth, Lily began to investigate the origins of Penelope, her search leading her back to Marionette's keep. The toy shop, once bustling with life, now stood silent, its windows dark, the door locked. Undeterred, Lily pressed on, her inquiries unraveling a tapestry of horror that revealed Penelope's true nature, a cursed object brought to life by a dark ritual, seeking not companionship, but control over the souls of those who possessed her. Armed with this knowledge, Lily knew she had to act. As the full moon rose, casting an eerie glow over Willow's End, she formulated a plan to break the curse binding Penelope to this world. But as she prepared to confront the doll, Penelope's whispers grew into screams, the house shaking with the force of her rage. The line between hunter and hunted blurred as Lily faced the doll's wrath, the outcome of their confrontation hanging in the balance. The darkness in Penelope's eyes promised a battle, not just for Lily's soul, but for the very essence of Willow's end. As Lily moved to act, the storm outside crescendoed, mirroring the turmoil within Lily, with resolve stealing her heart, confronted Penelope in the attic, where the doll's malevolent energy seemed most potent. Thunder clashed, as if marking the beginning of their final confrontation. Lily, armed with ancient incantations she had gleaned from her research, began to recite words of binding, hoping to trap Penelope's spirit once more. But Penelope was not to be underestimated. With each word Lily spoke, the doll convulsed violently, her screams piercing the stormy night. Yet she slowly advanced toward Lily, her movements unnatural and jerky. The air around them crackled with dark energy, the boundaries between realms thinning. Lily's voice wavered as fear threatened to overpower her resolve. Penelope, seizing the moment of doubt, lunged at Lily, her porcelain hands transformed into claws. Lily tried to defend herself to finish the incantation, but Penelope was relentless. In a terrifying display of strength, Penelope overpowered Lily, her once beautiful features now twisted into a visage of pure hatred. The last thing Lily saw was Penelope's glowing eyes as the doll whispered words of a curse that had bound her to this plane, a curse that now sought a new host. The storm abated as quickly as it had come, leaving an eerie calm over Willow's end. When Lily's parents discovered them, it was too late. Penelope sat silently beside Lily's still form, 
her porcelain face serene, as if nothing had transpired. The curse, it seemed, required a sacrifice to maintain its cycle of terror. Penelope was found by authorities at the scene, an innocent doll once more, her secrets and the true extent of her malevolence hidden beneath layers of paint and porcelain. The mystery of Lily's demise remained unsolved, attributed to an unfortunate accident during the storm. As Penelope was placed among other evidence, her eyes seemed to flicker momentarily, a silent testament to the curse that lingered. The cycle was not broken, merely paused, waiting for the next unwitting soul to awaken the horror once again. And so, the legend of the cursed doll from Marionette's Keep lived on, a chilling reminder that some horrors are too deep to be easily vanquished, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to claim their next victim. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow at 6 a.m. EST for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions.